Okay, for me, the most important part is to have a schedule. So today's schedule is to do the front clip, fenders, washer, AC plumbing, hood liner, uh, hood, core support, radiator, headlights, grill, front bumper. Um, and then we got obviously one on the cab, then the interior, and then the bed. Now this one over here will be for the truck frame. When we start on that one, we don't have a goal yet, but we do have a goal April 15th. This all has to be ready. All has to be stripped and down and ready for powder coating and sandblasting by April 15th. Next thing I like to do, I always like to have a pen and paper with me when I'm taking stuff down. Sometimes I find there's a tool that I need. I always like to have pen and paper, parts bins, bolt holders, and then I also use Ziploc bags. I think Ziploc bags is a great way of making sure you keep everything. So all we've done so far is the hood and the pop-out windows. And I've already got that labeled, got a marker here, got magnets. I got a few of these, so when I'm taking stuff apart, that's really important to stay organized, make sure that we know what we're doing and that we can keep focused. So I'm gonna set you up on the tripod, kind of show you the process and removing the fenders. Uh, we'll do a video on just fenders, a video on the core support, another video on the grill and the bumper and all that stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up on the tripod and kind of show you some of the uh, better pictures, better angles. So. I know we did a video on removing a fender and the fender liner, but I've had a lot of questions on that, so I'm gonna to try to cover that one really good in this video. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, today's job's kind of a big job. We're gonna be removing the whole front clip. So we're gonna start with the fenders right here, and then we're gonna do the inner liners on both sides. We're gonna be removing the cruise control box, the wiper motor, and the wiper arms. Also the evaporator dryer there, the uh, overflow reservoir, the hinges, the battery box, the uh, fan shroud, the fan, the radiator, the core support, the grill, the headlights, and the front bumper. So that's where we're going to be. Today I would like to have the whole front clip off. So here we go, we'll get started. Okay, so removing this grill is pretty easy. You have a seven millimeter right here, seven mil here, seven mil here, seven mil right here. And then you have two tabs down here on the bottom. So you gotta take off the four screws for the headlight or the marker light, just turn it like that. Pull those out. Then underneath the light, is a little tab. You just put the screwdriver in, you'll see it. That'll just pop loose. Same thing on the other side. I already kind of pulled it off. Make it easy for you guys. Well, that's nice. It's full of water. That's gross. We'll just turn that like that. And then, if you did it right, it should just slide right out. And then you have your two marker lights for your turn signals. And then your grill's off. All right, removing the headlights is kind of simple, dude. So you just got a quarter inch. Just pull these out. Hardest thing is to find this socket. It's quarter inch, six point. Sorry, it's a three sixteenths. And those are kind of hard to find. You might be able to find it like uh, O'Reilly or AutoZone. If not, you can order them from Sears. But just pull those out and that headlight pulls right out. kind of pivots out and then just undo your your clips for your lights like that one's high beam one's low beam and there you go that's how you remove the headlight so I'll go ahead and do the other one here next cowling right here you have a seven mil here, here, 
here and here. I've already removed those. And this just pulls out. Just like that. Now we can take off the bumper. Okay, now to remove this bumper, you have eight 17, sorry, you have eight 18 millimeter bolts. There's one right there, one there, one there, and one there. And then if you look down, you can see one there on the bottom, another one there on the bottom. I'm trying to get the light in there, but you can't see it. You got another one down there, and another one down there. Okay, so that's what we're trying to get off. We're going to zip those eight bolts off and pull it off. So that's it. We're done with the front. Drill, headlights, bumper, all that stuff. The next video for next week is going to be us removing the fenders and the inner liners. So go ahead and stay tuned in next week. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you guys next week.